Hi, this is KC from KC Boomer Tech. We talk about everything tech and some fun stuff and much, much more for boomers. Listen, uh, we're all, um, before we get started, I just want you to remind you to go down there and, repl- and hit that subscribe channel. Um, and uh, well, after you like it, please put like, share, and subscribe to the channel and put your comments after the video. Now, what I want to talk about to you today is something that kind of got me alerted to what's really happening in the world. Um, As you many of you know, there's been a lot of incidents about social distancing, where the police have had to take action, uh, people getting arrested. Um, But then I was reading about that in Singapore, um, the Singapore government has uh, deployed several robotic dogs to go around the parks and remind people to uh, socially distance. So I want to discuss that and the implications of what this could mean for us as a society. So let's get to it. So what we've been talking about is a lot of sci-fi movies have shown like an apocalyptic future with the robots taking over and things happening. I mean, the movie Terminator, when it came out, was based on that, where man had created machines for war and things like that, and the machines got smart and took over. And if you go back to 2017, there was a movie called Metalhead, and it's uh, it's filmed in black and white, and it's supposed to be a post-apocalyptic scene in which uh, mankind is almost wiped out, and this, these people are being pursued by robot dogs. Uh, Eogate, or ergo the name um, Metalhead. And that they're pursued. The robot, these robot dogs can shoot, kill, maim people, on and on and on and on. And they don't seem to be controlled by anyone. And we have seen, you know, robotic do- dogs robotic people now being formed in every work of life you know if we look over here there's a robot that has been a robot soldier now that's being tested that um you can knock him down you can hit him you can throw hit him with a baseball bat and he just goes on and on and attacking and shooting and maiming people on and on and on and on well that leads us to another question what next? Where are we going from this as a society? As robots become more and more part of our society and going on and on and on, what will happen next? Which leads us to this point. So which leads us forward to what we've recently seen in Singapore. Boston Dynamics has sold their robot dog to Singapore. Now, if you know anything about Singapore and Malaysia, these governments are very, very uh, controlling. <clears throat> Their laws are very uh, unforgiving. Singapore is the country that caned people. And they have deployed these dogs right now to go around and um, show us to, to go out and police their parks. Well, these dogs, these... Um, as you can see in the picture, in one configuration, it has a head like a dog and can open doors, can grab, can that. Another configuration, it has two human hands, which means it can hold a gun and it can be weaponized. Not only that, with the with the idea now, when you see what Bill Gates wants to put the chip in the hand um, and we see that the governments of the world want to use our cell phones for tracking. So when someone is exposed to the coronavirus, um, they can then use your phone and track who you've been close to and notify them of this. Well, not only that, with this type of a robotic device, as it approaches you, if you have the chip, it'll know who you are. If it sees your phone, it will know who you are. Excuse me. <clears throat> so, That is very, very scary because now we have machines policing and and looking at what can be done. 
Which leads us to another point. <laughs> robotics and robots are here to stay. And they're a reality now. Whether you have a toy robot, which aren't you playing with, or you have robots <clears throat> that are designed to kill. I mean, when you take Fido up in this example, okay, he was designed for use in an international space station to go outside and to be able to act like a human being and also on Mars expedition to do exploration. Well, the Russians took him and put a gun in his hand and said, okay, let's see what you could do. And, of course, he hit every target. This is scary to the umpteen because who controls these machines can control the world. With more and more and more the Democrats attempting to take away our guns and leave us defenseless, and machines like this being deployed, <clears throat> which more and more and more they wanted to put identification on us. In Sweden, every single person has now is being inserted in a chip into their hand so they can be identified. Malaysia has now also opted in and is going to chip every one of their people who live in that country. It's just a matter of time. And as you put robot dogs, robot sentries, robots patrolling, robots moving around, they'll be able to read who you are and what you're doing, which can lead to many, many, many different things. Just And also, you know, with with this thing about don't you don't you dare socially gather don't you get within 6 feet these machines can be watching and who knows what the people who control them will do with them so it's something to think about it's something to really consider um because as we move forward as they in the guise of, use, of protecting us against the coronavirus and future pandemics, attempt to, to ID us, put numbers on us, use our cell phones to track us. Already, you know, um, our, the, your various video devices are now tied into various police devices, police um, departments. You have cameras everywhere, ID chips. It's only a matter of time because somebody abuses this power. So I hope this has been informative to you <clears throat> and alerting to you because we must be on guard at all times because in the guise of protecting us, our freedom, we will give up our freedoms. And when we give up our freedoms, we're one step from a totalitarian government. If you look at Venezuela, they gave up their guns, they gave up their freedoms, and look what's happening there right now. So please, again, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Put your comments in there about this video and anything you'd like to me to get into. And until next time, this is Casey from, from Casey Boomatech out. Mm -hmm.